Hey Capricorn, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for Capricorn. And for those who have Capricorn placements, check your chart, please. Cross watchers, as always, you are welcome here because energy is fluid. Keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary, okay? And, I, and I, it's crazy that I have to stress this to some people still, but don't force the reading. If it's your story, then it will be fluid. If it's not your story, then it's not for you. If it is your story and you're hearing something that you don't want to hear, then by all means, you have free will. Just use your discernment. You don't have to do what the cards say. I'm just giving the messages, okay? But you can do whatever you feel right. I'm just a messenger, all right? So here we go. Let's get into it for Capricorn. Actually, before I pull into the tarot, I'm going to pull some oracle messages to see what's going on for you, Capricorn, okay? If this reading resonates for you guys, please click the link in the description box below if you're interested in a personal reading, okay? If not, you can just click on the like button to let me know that you that you want to see more of these messages. All right? So show me the messages for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to see? Show me for the collective Capricorn. I hope you guys are well. Okay, show me the messages for Capricorn. Sabotage. I messed up the good thing in my life sometimes. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. Wow. Show me the messages for Capricorn. Runner. I don't want to run anymore. Okay. Somebody's tired of running and self-sabotaging. Absence. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Yeah. Someone's really... We having a lot of regrets of how they left this connection and they yeah they can feel your presence yeah, they miss your presence deeply okay it could be reversed because like again energy is fluid new chapter i'm trying to move on wow somebody here is trying to move on so i feel like someone is tired of running and someone else is trying to move on from this Two different energies. Indecisive. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Yeah. I get this energy that whoever you're connecting to couldn't make their mind up about the connection. And you got tired of waiting around for them. Show me one more, please, for Capricorn. Again, the roles can be reversed. Values. We have too many differences. Wow. Okay. Commitment, I want you to be a part of my life. This is the overall energy. Somebody here wants a commitment. Somebody who keeps running wants a commitment with you, I feel, Capricorn. This is self-sabotaging behavior, but this person is tired of running. They don't feel complete without you. And it's like, I feel like this person feels you moving on. So that's why they want to come forward. And they know that their decisiveness is what's caused you to get, to want to just move forward. I'm getting a new chapter. I'm trying to move on. Values. We have too many differences. I feel like this is your energy. You're like, this is, you know, we don't value relationships the same. And it's just time for me to move forward. So now we're going to go into the tarot to see what's going on. Because, again, the overall energy is a commitment. And this person doesn't, like, they're, they're tired of being the runner. All right? So they want to chase you. Show me the messages, please, for Capricorn. These slippery ass cards, boy. This is a new deck, guys, and I'm just, I'm a little frustrated with this deck because the cards are extra slippery. They slide around on my table. Wow, somebody's gotten clarity. They're like, let me tell you, I feel like this is your energy. You have the queen of swords and the queen of wands. Very attractive, knowing your worth. Um, very confident, always there for your friends. They count on you to be there for them. They can always they can always count on you. You value your home, your family life. And you've gotten clarity about someone with the king of cups reverse that 
you know, just continue to disappoint you. Someone whose expectations are very unrealistic. They gave you an illusion of love. They remove themselves to avoid conflict instead of trying to work things out. And with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you set these clear boundaries with this person. Your thoughts are dominating your feelings. You're not putting up with any bullshit. Okay, I get this very independent energy. But you're also very supportive, very honest, you know, very great person. And you're like, you know, I can't, I'm not, I can't let this person to continue to take advantage of me. And you've gotten clarity about this person. You could be connecting with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I'm getting a lot of water energy. With the Queen of Cups reverse, you did pull back your energy from this person. You feel like they're just unnecessary drama. Okay. Show me the messages, please. It's unnecessary. You feel like like we could have talked about certain things, but no, you just kind of, this, this person kind of left. If the cards come out sideways, guys, I will pick it up. I only read uprights and reversals, okay? I mean like straight sideways, not like almost up and almost down, you know? That's just how I read, okay? Show me one more. Okay, these cards want to fly out, so I have to read them. There was someone here that was excessively controlling, someone that you didn't feel emotionally safe with. You didn't feel safe with them at all because they just tried to control the situation by not willing to compromise and being very rigid, being very stubborn. And then I feel like this person was very aloof with the, with the Emperor Reverse. And this is someone, they have a fear of getting hurt, I'm getting. It's like, it's like, there's a need for them to change their ways after a, diff a painful moment between the two of you. But this person is, they fear change. It's like there's a transformation for them and they're resisting it, okay? But at the same time, this is someone who's like, damn, I don't wanna run, I don't wanna feel like this. I need to make up my mind about Capricorn. But it's like, okay, the worst has happened. You're not, this person's not making any moves. But what I get here is the five of swords reversed, the sun and the temperaments. You could be captain with a Leo. There's Sagittarius energy here. This is someone now who's like, okay, I can either decide to be happy or I can sit and shit. This is where they, this is literally where their mindset is. The temperaments is here. This is balance. This is person knows that in order to m deal with you moving forward, they know that they have to put in the work. They know that it's going to require a lot of patience from you, but this person, they want to find solutions to the problems that you have finally. They want a reconciliation. Um, they have a lot of resentment of how they treated you after a tower moment, okay? And with the sun here, there's like, this person feels like you're their, ha their happiness in spite of the fact that you two are not together. With the Three of Cups, again, this person wants a reunion. They want they want to get together with you. They want to celebrate with you. Um, but the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands reverse. It's just like this person has things that are distracting them on the outside. Like they're... It's like this person wants to come in, but they're not sure if they should come in now. I get like postponement for a new beginning. Show me more, please. This person wants your forgiveness, though. Makes no mistakes. Again, I don't read cards like this. It has to be kind of up or kind of down all the way. Okay. Show me the messages, please. Oh, my God. I hate this deck. It's so slippery. I said this person wants to come in, but right now, this person is just spying on you and playing mind games with this page of Swazi Verse. If you have social media, this person is looking at your page. They're trying to figure out what you're doing. They're trying to see if your posts have anything to do with them. Are they subliminal messages? They're trying to figure you out without speaking to you. And with the death card in reverse, this is somebody that's resisting change. It's like they're afraid of the new beginning. Okay, so therefore, they're sitting in this negative pattern that they tend to have. Again, page of Swazi Verse. They're playing mind games, okay? Um, and they're, they're confused. They know they messed up. They know that they keep running. Again, in decisiveness, I know my ability to make, to my inability to make a dis make decisions, make a decision hurts you. They, this person with the two of swords, they're trying to figure out which direction they, they should go into. And this is why this person is not able to come in now, 
even though they know that you're their happiness. With the Five of Cups reverse, again, though, this is somebody who wants to heal and wants to forgive, but at the same time, they're indecisive. And this is exactly why you're like just trying to move on. You're just trying to move on. You feel this person emo completely emotionally available, completely aloof. Um, the High Priestess is here. You're just trying to listen to your intuition. You're trying to focus on your spirituality and... You know, you two are not speaking, and you're like, there's nothing here for me. This person is not even speaking to me. Well, with the Six of Swords Reverse, this is someone... They say they want to heal, but this is slow healing because this person is running away from their problems. Not not, not away like in healing. In, up, in upright, this is someone going towards their healing. In reverse, this is someone who's slowly moving towards their healing. And it's like, but you're not really facing your problems. It's like they have resistance. They have doubts. Okay, you could be connecting with a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini is here. Your energy is here, the world. This is also Leo. It's like there's a need for a new cycle. There's an opportunity for a new cycle here with the world. This is like fulfillment, completion. Like someone finally feeling like I belong here. I belong with my person. But your person with the King of Swords reverse is coming off cold, you know, but they're in their head about this. You know, there's this new cycle here waiting for them. It's open to them. But, you know, you know, you got sometimes you just got to make shit happen. It's not going to just happen alone. The universe will send us opportunities, but we, have, we also have to do our part. This person is coming off right now is very cold towards you. Okay. You're not speaking to this person. Show me this person's feelings. Again, sideway cards. What is this person's feelings towards Capricorn? Maybe if I don't pull them out so fast. Show me this person's feelings towards Capricorn. This person is, is they have an inability to commit right now with the two of pentacles reverse. All right. There's just a lot going on outside of this connection in their lives. All right. Um, they're resisting a reunion right now, but at the same time, they're trying to heal. Okay, with the nine of swords, this is somebody that's trying to recover. Like they're trying to release these anxieties and these deep seated issues they have. They're trying to get clarity on a situation and, and you know get out of this conflicting energy so that they can they can come towards you. With the seven of swords reverse, this is someone who wants to come in and apologize to you. They want to, you know, turn over a new leaf. Their conscience is kicking it. They're kicking their ass about how they're treating you and still treating you. And they want to come in and they want to confess something to you, you know? What is it that this person wants to confess to Capricorn? They want to communicate. The chariot is about communication. It came out sideways. Okay, something's hidden. Show me what's hidden. Okay. This person is determined to make this work and they want to come in and say, you know, they want, again, they want you to forgive them. They want to heal and recover from this connection. Um, they're coming in with honesty and transparency. They want to come in with mental clarity. I should say that um, with the King of Swords. Um, you could be connecting with the Taurus. I'm getting Gemini here, um, Cancer, Energy. With the star, it's like this person is trying to manifest you into their lives. Like they hope that they see you. You could be connected with an Aquarius. Show me more for what this person wants to confess to Capricorn. You could be connecting with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This person basically wants to confess to you that the reason why they've been so emotionally withdrawn and playing these games with you is because they didn't feel independent. They see you as very independent and it makes them feel um, like they're not enough for you, okay? They see you as somebody that knows how to take care of yourself. You want them, but you don't need them. Ace of Wands reverse. They feel like they're wasting your time. Like you have your shit together, they don't. 
So that's why they're hesitant, to, hesitant towards this new beginning. But they want to confess that to you, that their insecurities is because they don't have their shit together. Judgment reverse. Yeah, they they feel down. They they don't like themselves. They don't like this, the decisions that they make. They feel guilty about the, the decisions that they made about this connection and for themselves in their own life. You could be um, connecting with the Libra. Yeah, they want to confess that they're the ones who caused this breakup. And you know that already. But they want to say, yes, I'm the one who effed up. You know, I'm the one who came in here with this instability. And you can't trust me now because of my actions. And But with the, with the Knight of Pentacles, they want to come in as someone that you can count on. Okay? They want to feel like they, you do feel like you, they want you to feel safe with them, to feel protected, feel like, you know, they're reliable. And, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but the most, one of the most reliable. And this person wants to come in that way. So, you know, they're just trying to work through their shit. Like, they have to work through their shit because they're in this conflicting energy. The Empress reverses here. They know they cause insecurities in you. They know that. they def that This person projected their insecurities onto you when, in fact, they're the ones that feel insecure. Okay, page of cuts reverse at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who has some childhood, childhood, I said childhood issues, childhood issues, some trauma issues. Okay, there was something that went on in their childhood. Like, they, there's something unstable about their upbringing. This person didn't know stability in their upbringing. They might have moved down. They might have moved around a lot. They might have been raised by someone else, another family member. They might have been with one parent, but they saw too much shit happening and too many different people come in and out of their home. And this is the root of their issues. And this is what this is the root of their insecurities. And they grew up feeling this way, like not worthy. So this person tends to ghost the connection or leave and create the separation because they, they feel you're going to abandon them. This person has abandonment issues, so they try to beat you to it. Yeah, this person just wants to be, they want a new beginning with you, but they want security and stability first. They're trying to manifest that for themselves, okay? That's why this person is quiet, high priestess. So show me um, Capricorn's feelings. What is Capricorn's feelings for this person? You could be connecting with the Pisces here or Taurus. Show me Capricorn's feelings. You absolutely want to be happy and content and stable and all those things. But when it comes to this person with the Ace of Swords reverse, you feel like this person's lacks mature communication it's like no matter what you say to this person it's never received that way there's always a conflict there's something that gets lost in translation between you and this person it's like they always twist your words around um they like they gaslight you they leave you very confused and there's no clarity with this person you want clarity you want you want it to feel easy and safe with someone so with the queen of cups you removed your you pull back your energy you pull back your emotions from this person with the Seven of Wands reverse, you feel like this is this defeating. You're like completely f overwhelmed by this person. And, and it's just draining to be with this person. And you, it's just like, just to think about this person is like triggering. The Seven of Wands reverse is like, let me know that you feel triggered when you even think about this person. Okay, but you, you want a high level commitment. You want peace. Show me more. You could be connecting with... A Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. I'm also getting Aries. There's a wish fulfillment here, Nine of Cups. And I feel like you're going to be surprised by this fulfillment. Because with the Four of Pentacles, somebody here is holding on to deep-seated issues. Like, this person is afraid of change. They're blocking change. They don't want to grow. Show me more why this, clarify this um, Nine of Cups for me, please. 
you're manifesting better for yourself. All the happiness that you desire, you're going to get for yourself, no matter what, whether it was from this person or somebody else. But I feel like you're manifesting a different connection. You could be connecting with a Gemini um, because I have the King of Wands here. This is a leader. This is someone who, who, who you can feel safe with. This is someone who's just a natural leader. You know, this is somebody who's like a business person. They probably own their own business. Um, very innovative. You know, somebody who just knows how to be a, 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 a damn head of household. Like, head, you know, just a leader, I should say. A leader. Because I'm trying to give you the energies without putting a gender on it. Because it could be man or woman. The cars are not gender-based. But this is someone who's not, you know, they're about their shit, you know. And this is the kind of person you're manifesting. You're manifesting someone that's going to match your effort. All right? So show me more, please, for um, Capricorn, please. Yeah, Knight of Wands Reverse. That's someone who's, you know, doesn't really deliver a lot. Like, they cause a lot of setbacks in this connection. I feel like this person that you're trying to walk away from is very cocky. Um, they're reckless. And, and they just make decisions without considering you. And I think that you're just tired of it. Three of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that's not willing to put in the work. Okay? This person's not willing to put in the work. You, that's how you feel. But with the Five of Wands reverse, little do you know that there's somebody here that wants to, you know, end the drama between you two. They want to come in. They want to cooperate. Um, They don't want any conflicts, though. And that's one of the reasons why they're not coming in because they feel like... They may say something and it's going to stir up another argument. Um, but with the Five of Pentacles, this is somebody that's going to ultimately want your forgiveness. They want you guys to come together and make things work. <sighs> so you're going to have to have a choice here because you are manifesting somebody new. Cap who's coming towards Capricorn? Let's just see if the. <laughs> Let's just see. Let's get clarity on that. Who's coming towards Capricorn? That card flipped all the way out. That's this person. This person is coming towards you. This ex is coming towards you. Yes, you're, you're trying to manifest something new, but this person from your past is coming back. With the Hermit Reverse, this is somebody who's in isolation because they have paralyzed with fear, but they're going to want to take action. You're going to get communication out of nowhere from this person. So it's weird. Like they're moving slow. Yes, right now their energy is a slow moving energy. No question. But all of a sudden, you're gonna, it's going to feel really fast. You're going to get some sort of message out of nowhere from this person. Like when they make up their mind, when they finally get to that point where they solidify their decision and they get that clarity and they're like, no, like I need Capricorn, they're going to reach out to you and they're going to want to take a leap of faith with the fool. Okay, you could be connecting with an Aquarius. Also, Sagittarius energy is here. Yeah, the three of, of swords reverse. This is someone who wants to heal with you. They want your forgiveness. They want to recover this connection. So show me the challenges, please, for Capricorn in, in this situation. Show me Capricorn's challenges with this person. Your challenge is to be receptive when this person comes back around. Because with the two of wands, it's like... You're avoiding taking this risk. There's a fear here. Like you fear that this person can't put in the work. They're not able to put in the work. They're not able, they're, they don't have it in them to build, to rebuild this connection. Okay. And you want a commitment. You want a solid commitment and you're not settling Capricorn. You could be connecting with the Taurus. You're not settling. You know what you want. You know what you're worth, what, what you deserve. That's why I pulled the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands in the beginning. It's like your self-esteem is on high. It's like you remove, when you remove yourself from this, when this person removed themselves from you, you focused on your growth. You focused on your spirituality. You got back into who you were. You remember who the hell you are. And you're like, I'm not having nobody waste my time. You don't have any faith that this person is worth taking a risk on. And, and, and this person can make it work. Okay. So your focus is on, you know, manifesting somebody who's going to be stable, who's willing to build with you. Your challenge is to, to, to be receptive to this person when they come in. Because they are going to come in. Show me advice, please, for Capricorn. What advice do we have for Capricorn? You could be connecting with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's a lot of passion between you and this person. 
I feel like it was really hard to let this person go. Like, intimately, it was off the hook. Bro, I feel like Spirit is telling you to move forward. <laughs> I got the King of Wands reverse. Like, I feel like this person promises you a lot, but they don't deliver. This person has been very disrespectful to you, very impulsive. They even have a, they have a temper. They're very domineering. Um, they even have problems like financial problems. Like, and with the judgment reverse, this is someone that they can't give you the love you desire because there's things in him, them that they need to heal from. They need to fix. There's not enough love for themselves. And this person doesn't, they like they lack accountability. This is, it's like spirit wants you to, like, this is a burden. This person is burdensome. This is someone who takes you for granted. So there's this spirit wants you to release this person. So with the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck, spirit wants you to just continue to move on. And that's what you're doing. You're moving towards a new chapter. However, this person is still going to come back around wanting a reunion with you you have to use your discernment i'm gonna pull on some more advice okay look at that there's no mistakes here four of wands reverse there's a lack of faith in this connection like this person has some issues they, they may have issues with family members they or a child or a children's mother or whatever but there's always something interfering with you two being happy and with the Queen of Pentacles reverse the bottom of the deck, this is this is definitely someone's child or children's mother. Your person may have a child or children with someone else. I feel like they do because the Queen of Pentacles reverse is telling me that there's someone who's who neglects their own responsibilities and they want your person to pick up their shit, you know. And they they're a burden to your person, and your person becomes a burden to you. And it's just like spirit is like that cycle is not going to end. So if you want if you're going to be with this person, this is the kind of shit that you're going to be taking on. And it's like, do you really want to put up with that? So show me the person that Capricorn is manifesting. When the cards come out sideways, I will put them back in the deck. Show me the person that Capricorn is trying to manifest. I'm trying to figure out if this is somebody that's already around you or this is a completely new person. No. Okay. For starters, in order to be with this new person you're manifesting, you have to be willing to keep, release this connection. And then some of you are listening and they're like, I did release it. I'm not with this person. But no, energetically release this person. Eight of Swords reverse, okay? And you have to stay optimistic, stay encouraged, continue to manifest, all right? Um, be willing to be emotionally and physically available to meet this person. Because with the Three of Wands, this is about growth and, and expansion, okay? This is moving forward with confidence, taking a new chance on someone, so, you know? And this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but what's going to happen is someone is going to appear. There's going to be someone available to you with the Six of Pentacles, someone who's going to be reci reciprocating, someone who's going to value you, someone who's financially supportive, generous, you know, they're just, this is a stable energy. Okay, but it is going to require you to move forward, okay, to go in a different direction and to stay optimistic. Because even now, I still feel like even though you're trying to, you're releasing this person physically, there's still like a self-limiting belief. I feel like even though you're confident about yourself and what you want, there's still that, mm, but is this person going to come? You know, like, am I finally going to be happy? I'm finally going to meet my match. Six of, six of wands. Yes, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. There's going to be success. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you're going after, Capricorn. But you got to release this page of cuss reverse. This person who has these, you know, childhood issues, this, this instability. You have to be able to release them. That's where your happiness is. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some messages from the universe, all right? But there is a victory in love. So don't, you know, don't be discouraged. There's definitely somebody out there for you. Don't settle is what I'm hearing. And that's why commitment, I want you to be a part of my future. 
what this is the overall energy is that there's somebody that's going to want you it's not this person this person says they want to they know they messed up and you know they know that you know their inability to make a decision hurts you they keep running but there's someone who's wants who's going to offer you there's a commitment here and that's why it's the overall energy it's just that it's not with this person it's with somebody else and this person is going to be certain about you this person is going to be the opposite of the person that you need to release they know. They're going to know. They're going to know. It's going to be clear. So show me the messages for Capricorn before I close out this reading, please, for this bonus reading. What are the messages for Capricorn? You deserve this. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. And this is about you getting the love that you give. This is your validation that things are finally beginning to work out for you. Get ready for unexpected breakthroughs. Good news and plot twists. Blessings are coming. Oh my God, I love this for you. And these are messages from the universe. Show me more for Capricorn. It's like when you let go of this person, it's just like everything changes for you. Like your abundance just starts flowing in. Love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening to you, for you. Saying no when you want to, say no. Instead of saying yes to please other people is a real act of self-love. Yeah, it's okay. You know, protect your peace. If it's not for you, stand on it. Don't worry. Everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made, even if you can't see the, the results yet. So much, so much is happening behind the scenes for the creation of your dreams. Trust the process. Oh my God, I absolutely love this for you. Don't worry. Worrying is not a solution. Stress is not a solution. Just know that you, you have it already. See it already. Feel it already. Manifestation is know that knowing that it's already yours. When you order for something from Amazon or anywhere, God hates, once you press that submit button and you submit that payment, you know that your delivery is on its way without a shadow of a doubt. Even if there's some sort of um, delay, or disruption, you know that what's yours is gonna be yours no matter what. That's the that same type of mindset that you have to have about love. No act of kindness is ever wasted. Some of the kindest people you will ever meet have been through hell and back themselves. That strengthens their compassion and empathy. If this is describing you, keep being the beautiful soul that you are. So don't let this situation change who you are. That's who you, you know, this is the queen of wands energy. Don't change who you are. You're very well liked, very attractive, very well loved, beautiful inside and out. The past is behind you now, so drop the fears and doubts. Even though you may feel a little uncomfortable at the moment and slightly anxious over what is coming next, you are being urged to bring yourself back to the present moment. That means no more looking back, Capricorn. Your recent prayers have been heard and are currently being worked on. Oh my God, I really love these cards and I love this energy for you. You have a, so much abundance coming your way. You just have to believe that it's yours and it will be, okay? So those are the messages that I have for you, Capricorn, for this bonus reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below or just click the like button. It's, it lets me know that you want to see more of these messages. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.